Welcome back everybody, I'm Steve from Poke Pointers, and today we're going to be opening up the newest set, Chilling Rain. We have two ETBs here today and we'll be comparing them side by side to figure out is this set really worth it, are we getting the return on our money, and how are the quality of these cards. So don't miss out, these are going to be really, really cool. Pick up e. So firstly, let's check out how nice these boxes really look. I really like these boxes, um, I mean the color themselves is very similar, I mean Shadow Rider and Ice Rider Calyrex do look very similar in terms of the boxes and in sort of the shades of that purple, but I do like that artwork itself, I think it you know kind of um, lends itself to be a little bit more sophisticated, um, Chilling Rain itself looks pretty cool, I like that particular logo over here, um, but you know all in all I'm starting to like these two different kinds of variants like with battle styles we had the red the single strike uh, as well as the rapid strike urshifu and then you know as opposed to a single variant right like the champions path etbs as well as the vivid voltage etbs these lend itself to a little bit more collectability so what we want to check today is what's the difference between these two boxes um you know to be honest there shouldn't be anything different pokemon is just manufacturing these uh eight booster packs in here and we also want to check the quality of the cards are there any differences between what we have here it's very interesting here where we have the etb ordered from the pokemon center you can see right here this is the error box that they gave me um it says that you would receive 10 booster packs here but in reality there's actually only eight due to a manufacturing error they actually sent me an email and I, i'm sure a lot of you guys know already saying they were apologizing for this mishap and then they would uh, reimburse me ten dollars in credit as well as give me two extra booster packs and give me a copy a sealed copy of each of the galarian bird v's so all in all i would say it's a pretty good deal and i do want to just open this up to compare side by side against another version of the etb that i did get from a local card shop local gaming shop so um you know, without further ado let's keep going so with the first one we're going to be expecting to get eight booster packs in here there should be some metal dice uh energy cards of course as well as a large coin the rule book and this of course retails for 39.99 and it's really a massive massive set this set list is unbelievably huge there's i believe 230 plus cards so let's take a look and see we of course have the rule book nothing too fancy the 60 cards 60 energy cards that i mean i personally am not going to play because i don't play the tcg anymore i did i did when i was a kid but um we also get these deck sleeves. Uh, <laughs> I just like to use them when I am selling my extra cards on eBay. I'll, I'll sl slip them into these sleeves if they're not going into a top loader, but all in all, they look pretty cool, right? It's like this deeper, deeper purple as opposed to this one. You know, it's kind of a little bit different shades, right? And here is that coin, right, of the Shadow Rider. It's pretty cool, I guess. Um, again, I don't really play the coin, but you know, this is the same size as the one that you would get from that Shining Fates premium collection with the Crobat and the Dread Devil. Uh, we do have the... Okay, so that's one thing I wasn't expecting, right? Like, you have the damage markers here, but I was expecting um, Pokemon Center to give the regular dice in the regular ETBs, so it doesn't look like there's really anything different from um, the 10 booster pack ETBs. So let's count them. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight booster packs here with the different artworks, right? Like it's pretty cool. We got one of each at least here, another four there. We have the um, Galarian Articuno, Moltres, Zapdos, as well as the Cal uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex. Pretty cool artwork, I would say. Um, you know, my favorite probably the zapdos i've always liked zapdos as well i think what we're really looking for um are going to be those cards that are the alternate arts um it's going to be the blaziken v max uh, the shadow rider altar galarian moltres articuno zapdos and uh, we'll also look for the snorlax as well as the zero aura oh that's so interesting okay so there's been a lot of issues quality control issues number one you can actually see how poor this quality is here right this is there's already some whitening here i i believe this would probably just get eight 
immediately right off the bat. Lining not too bad on here, but what's interesting here is there is not even a code card in here. Like, what are you guys doing, Pokemon? Um, I didn't even get a code card. Let's even count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there are eleven cards here. I'm assuming it's just that they forgot to put a code card here. But this is literally the first time I'm opening Chilling Rain, so we'll see what's up here, okay? So we'll start off with the Psychic Energy. Old Cemetery. These are all new cards for me. I've never ever seen these. I've seen some um, some live opens, openings from YouTube, but uh, I don't really know what to expect here, right? What the pull rates are going to be. Because from what I've heard, the quality control, not only in the card quality themselves is so bad, but even the distribution and how these cards lined up, that some ETBs, oh, this is going to be our Hollow Rare Sphiel, and we start off with a holographic Cinder Ace. Not a bad start but nothing too crazy. Um, so what they're saying is the distribution of these cards is really, really out there, right? Some ETBs and some even booster boxes get barely any Vs, V maxes, uh, some, some boxes don't even hit anything. I, they've, I've seen videos where um, they are also, you know, uh, pulling nothing in there. <laughs> So we do have a white coat here. Let's slow roll this one. Um, let's try it out. All right. What I'm personally really hoping for is I hope I get that Zal Zapdos V Alt Art or even the Full Art. I really like those. Um, oh, we also have our Fire Energy on the back. But if I can get that, that would be my ultimate chase. We have Kuna, Path to the Peak. Um, I also really like the Galarian Slowking as well. All the variants in there. I think there's four different Galarian Slowkings, and I just hope I can get one of them. I did pull one from Matchless Fighter, so I was really happy about that. But we'll see what happens. We have the Rapid Scroll of the Skies. Hollow, Reverse Hollow, and a Holographic Galarian Runarigus. Um, again, not the strongest start for this ETB. This is the one that I got from the... Uh, the LCS. So we'll see what happens. We do have in the white coat though. But wow, look at this. This white coat was just produced so poorly. There's actually like, take a look. Oh my gosh. It's really bad. This this is this is definitely the worst. I didn't actually believe the YouTubers on, on Pokemon, the Pokemon YouTubers when they're saying how poorly cut these cards are, but now I'm starting to believe them. It's it's pretty bad. This is really bad. <laughs> um, so to answer that question, right? Like how are the quality of the cards? Um, very poor. I would rate it out of a 10, probably a three, maybe a two. Um, these cards might not even pass muster for being mint or even excellent. They might be sevens or sixes. I mean, I have a uh, dark Charizard over there that I submitted from 20 years ago that gets a six, probably has better, is in better condition than these cards. It's kind of unfortunate though, right? Sneasel got crushing gloves and oh my gosh another cinderace um green code card so we can fly through this there's a lot of cards in that 30 dollars range too and i expect those to fall i would imagine a lot of the 100 dollar, 90 dollar cards fall down to around 40 50 dollars in the long run in the next month or two there's gonna be a lot of retracing once evolving skies comes out um, nothing too surprising um, look at this! Look at this! There's two code cards in here. So we were actually missing one from the previous, from our very first pack. It must have made this way here. So what do you guys think? Is this going to be a hit pack or are we going to get the green code here? I don't know. So let's find out. All right, one, two, three. Burn that energy card and let's see. We're on our second to last pack, so I haven't hit anything good. Um, you know, objectively good, right? We have the Cinderace, two Cinderaces actually, which honest, let's be honest here, I didn't even choose um, uh, that as my starter. So we do have Galarian Slowpoke Reverse Hollow, which I do like that line, but this looks like a green code pack with the wheezing. We are on our last pack of the first ETB, and I would say, you know, if in terms of return, I don't think we've gotten anything. We're at zero dollars right now. Um, this might actually be the worst ETB I've ever seen. The worst ETB I've ever seen. The worst ETB 
the worst ATB. Both in card quality as well as, look at this, wow. Card quality as well as just the pull rates. This, oh, definitely not worth the $40 here. So let's try the Pokemon Center one, right? This is the one, again, if you remember, it's the one that shows that there's 10 packs here, you can kind of see, but they actually only gave us eight. So, um, I, I mean, it's gonna cost me a little bit less than the $40 because I am getting two booster packs in addition to the Glaring Birds. And if I sold them, you know, I could probably net like let's say five to seven bucks off all three cars. The booster packs themselves are worth about four dollars a piece. So I'm net net paying, I wanna say eight, uh, $25 for this. Here, right, we're gonna get the same exact things. And you know, part of me is like, oh, maybe I'll get 10 packs here, but likely not. We have everything here, but we do have the Ice Rider Cali Records coin, the metal die, dice, that's the plural, and our eight packs. If we even get one V, just one V, we would beat the other ETB, and we start off strong with a white code card. Let's let's try it. Let's go. All right, three. Okay, let, let's actually take a look, closer look at the quality of the cuts as well. I mean, there is some edging. It's not nearly as bad as that first ETB. This is the one again. Remember, it's from Pokemon Center. So maybe, just maybe. These are cut a little bit better. Maybe, it's, I don't know, they came off first off the line or maybe later on down the line when there was better uh, control. But looks like these cards are definitely, actually definitely better. They even almost feel different on the surface. But I think I might be seeing something in the back actually. This might be first pack magic for the CTB. So we have a reverse hollow cast form. And what is, oh, it's a little bit tough. Oh, this is a V card. And, oh. We got the Galarian Slow King. So pretty happy about this. I mean, it's not worth very much. Let's be honest here, it's probably worth like a dollar or two. Um, but I also pulled this in Matchless Fighters. I really, really like Galarian Slow King. He's just a really funny card. Um, I was hoping maybe get the Alt Art or the Full Art, but I can't complain at this point. Considering our pull rates from um, the rest of the previous packs. All right, if we just get one more hit, I think that would be um, in line with what I'm expecting, but um, I don't know. Like the only way to make this even, right, is if we actually got something that was worth 90 to 100 bucks, or even you know three or four total these across both boxes. Um, that might make it worth it. But I'm, I'm not feeling too hopeful. I do like Marie a lot. Um, of course, as you guys know, Ampharos is my favorite Pokemon, so I do like that whole line. Lapras, Rapid Strike Urshifu, and, ooh, nothing crazy. It is, <laughs> oh man, it's another version of the Galarian Slowking. So I will be putting this into my personal collection because Galarian Slowking is really funny. But, you know, again, why couldn't you guys give me uh, the V or the Full Arts? Maybe this is one of those special packs where there's everything in here. No, that's not the case. Oh man, all right, all right, all right, all right. Give me some energy, guys. Like, I, I'm just hoping that this isn't going to be the set that disappoints me. I mean, Battle Styles was a little bit disappointing, but I was able to actually pull some decent cards. <sighs> I haven't really hit anything crazy yet, huh? It's kinda, it's kinda unfortunate, right? More green code cards. I mean, it looks like the one thing that they're consistent about that the Pokemon uh, factory is consistent about is white codes equals hollow and greater, green codes equals poopy doopy. I mean, again, this is a very small sample size. I'm not pulling, you know, 16 or 1900 packs like Cardzard's doing when they're pulling these pull rates, but I would have expected something a little bit better, right? Uh -huh. I, I can't even imagine just pack battling here with anybody because I don't think I would win anything. I would just lose everything. We can do the reverse pack battle um, and then I would win everything because these cards are just absolutely abysmal. So let's let's try it here. All right, this is the second to last pack. So this is pack number 15 of 16 and we have a white coat card. So we have justified gloves. These are like Power Ranger gloves. Again, more Power Ranger gloves. He's like a Green Ranger, Bounce Suite. We have a Fancy Dog. We got, of course, we got, of course, Diglett, but when they all three get to come together, Dog Trio, got Larvesta, 
Inkei, we have a reverse hollow Kakuna who evolves at what was it, level 7, I think, from Weedle. And uh, we have a holographic grab blocked. I've, I've been replaying Sword and Shield. I've been seeing a lot of level 50 or 60 grab blocks that I've been facing in the water. Um, so they're good for leveling, not so good for my collection. I, I doubt there's anything. This is probably going to be a green code card. Of course it is. This, <laughs> There is just nothing that I pulled here that was in any way, shape, or form worth it, right? Um, Ampharos is my favorite Pokemon, so that's some small consolation, but again, got nothing. Got nothing. So, to summarize, these are the three cards that I got, only one of them of which is actually even worth anything, worth more than like 50 cents. Um, so I don't know, I don't know Pokemon, Pokemon company, you gotta step your game up. Like if you're gonna be pulling, giving me stuff like this to pull, and I have probably six or seven more of these ETPs that I wanna open, like it's not much incentive to open with if it's not so fun. So I don't know guys, step your game up, all right? Um, so. That's about it. I'm Steve. Um, had a disappointing run with these two ETBs. And to conclude, there is no difference between Pokemon Center mistake ETBs and regular ETBs. Maybe there you get one is crappy, or one's really crappy and one's less crappy, even though it is still considered crappy. Um, so, I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Like, do you think I should open more? Should I open something else? Should I just wait for Evolving Skies? Just, uh, I'm interested. I'm interested in hearing what you guys have to say. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you soon.